Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Rob Peck back at you with another video. So today we will take this Hammond 1590B red powder coated box found on Amazon for like I don't know thirteen dollars or less um, and turn it into this style of electronic cigarette. So the things that we're going to do a quick overview is I'm going to put a connector and a button up on top. I prefer it button on the right. You can do button on the left, button on the side, whatever floats your goat. We are also going to go from screw to magnets here, which is the screws down below, drilled out, pressed in magnets. Now this one, this one was 2000. 14 I made or 2016 right around the time period of this orange one we looked at in the other video and I mean this one that we just replaced switch on and now we're going to do the same here so my first step is to get a measuring device you can use rulers tape measures, fingernails, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And I want to get a general feeling for the size of this box and then we'll lay it out. So right up top here, one, two, three, one, One, two, three, six. We're almost one and a quarter. So one, two, three, five. So that would be fifty plus. Give me a second. Math on YouTube is a lot harder than I thought, and every time someone said that, I didn't believe them. So now we're just going to scribe that. So we're actually just a little shy. But that's okay. Now if you can see those tape marks, which you probably can't, it's about the width of this here Sharpie. And that's plenty damn accurate for me. Luckily we get to cheat on this one. we have a reference. So approximately from the edge to the center. Let's see. Center of the connector. That kind of works. Which has screws on. screws on this side. So we're going to go something like there. I really kind of want in here. So somewhere in between those two lines. What's the easiest way to measure this? So I'd say something like that. Okay, so anxiety. Right up there. I use a 7 sixteenths drill bit for the switch and a 1332nd for the connector. Now the switch I'm using is just a standard horn connector style. And that's this side. 
Okay, that'll fit. And then right now I'm a little worried. Ah, I can make that. This is the really sticky kind. We just saved ourselves a bunch of bullshit. Because I've had more than once the shavings come there and screw all that up. Oh, that looks nice. Now there's two reasons. Wow. First one. This is just kind of clean up this edge. Let's see how we fit. What's this? What's this? An extra part here. Oh, that's supposed to go there. Well, shoot. Although, if I had a tap that big, that'd be a tight fit. So I gotta open that up just a hair, which I figured I'd have to anyway. Now this one is actually kind of cool. You see that little thing? That little pit thing, which is machined special, uh, actually lets you lock this in so it doesn't rotate. The benefit of having this here. And my goal is, it doesn't matter where that is, but this tank, it's a Mod Father tank, and uh, it's been run over by a truck and it still works number 13. This matters to me. So I would like to line up those that way and that way. i make two impressions. I can just barely see that one. And the other one should be 180 degrees. That other one is right here. So either one could work for my needs. But I have two impressions under there. You can just barely see what I pressed in if I angle it right. Now, powder coat is a hard coating, but you can actually, with you know the right amount of force, do that. So, this is a bit bigger file for this. I'm going to go get a needle file. And I'm going to listen to some tunes while I do this. I'll bring you back when I get that done. Okay, not going to lie. I'm a bit pissed right now. So, I got a scratch. Oh, that's why you leave the tape on. I was, uh, I took a drill bit to do that because the filing was taking too long and then I used my Benchmade 940 to smooth all the edges out. Uh, you know, steel's harder than aluminum, so steel cuts aluminum. But I am so down about that. You'll never see it as long as there's a tank on it, but that, you know, is par for the course. Now, with the way this thing fits, this is what I was worried about, and I wanted to show you, that in here, you don't really have room to turn that nut, but that's okay, because you can turn the switch, and there's a little wiggle room, but there's not really just enough. I don't know if you can see that, how close it is. A little bit. That's all you needed was a little bit. But I'm just going to tighten this up here the best we can. And then after, I'm going to press in magnets like this, six little six millimeter buggers. And you have to drill out this. The problem is... If you mess up a little bit, you lose the whole corner, or have the potential to. And I've got a lot of boxes like that, but I'm thinking this is going to be nice. And I might just leave this here today and come back to it. Um, get a lot of video to edit. I'll make this one short too, but uh, future up, ta-da! But reality. Still got a ways to go, and I feel like going to see my kids and eat and be an adult-ish. 
I don't know about being an adult, but I'm going to go chill. It's been a long day. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good weekend.